A group of Christchurch residents are worried about potentially toxic dust coming from demolition waste produced by the earthquakes. Medium density fibre board or MDF has been, has been dumped at an old rubbish pit in Wigram since the earthquakes and nearby residents are worried it could be harming their health. Our reporter Conan Young looks at this. The dumping of MDF is restricted to certain places because of the formaldehyde it contains which can be harmful. Yasminda Henderson only lives about 100 metres from the pit and says her windows become covered in dust, especially when the wind is blowing from the direction of the pit. She worries about what is in the dust and the impact it's having on the health of her and her family. I've got my own garden. It's not big, but it's got fruit and everything else growing. And I want to know that it's safe for me and my children to eat it and it's safe for all of us to be able to do what everybody normal wants to do in the society, grow their own food if they wanted to and eat it. Kay Styler says dust potentially containing MDF makes its way to her place as well, but she says those living closest to the pit are coated in it. They have to wash their houses a lot and they have dust is all on their windowsills all the time, you shouldn't have to do that. Uh, southerly, once a southerly hits, especially in North Awatea, it's just a cloud of dust and you see it rolling and rolling towards Hallsville as well. A fire at the pit four years ago burned out of control for five weeks, sending smoke to surrounding homes, including the one belonging to Julie Chivas. She worries about the impact smoke from the burning MDF has had on her and her husband. Our breathing was very restricted. It was almost, well, my husband and I woke up in the middle of the night and we thought our gas had gone in our house. That was how bad it was. We were choking. As well as the risk of another fire, she's concerned about the extra hazard created by the burned MDF, which remains at the pit. It was very disappointing to find out that coming from the red zone, thinking that you were going to have a new start, and then find out that within 100 metres or so, you were living next to this site. And now they're building these th thousands of houses going in here that are going to be built right up into the to the boundary of the Awaka pit. The chair of the local Christchurch City Council Community Board, Mike Mora, says all sorts of toxic waste was dumped at the pit prior to the earthquake by the previous owner, and this has compounded the problem. He says the threat isn't just from the air. What this pit is doing, it's sitting right in, not on, in the unconfined aquifer, and that's causing pollutions of wells all around this area are polluted and have had to be shut down. Mike Morris says the council has sat on its hands over requiring the burned and non-burned MDF to be transported to a more appropriate place away from residents. And every day that nothing's happening or it's happening too slow is another day that we can't afford when we're talking about the environment, people's health, quality of life and, and well-being. In a short statement, the council says it has not received any recent complaints about dust coming from the MDF. It says the pit is currently being investigated and it is therefore unable to comment further. The owner of the pit, Alan Edge from Southern Demolition, did not return calls. In Ōtotahi for Checkpoint, Kō Konan Young Tene.